Alright, this is my robot. The front didn't have enough weight on it. As you can see, it's a very big battery at the back. Yes, I know. Quite an immense, impressive battery. Anyways, so I piled a rusty piece of rebar and, uh, I don't know, some other kind of metal. Anyways, this is my robot. i turn it on now. Where is the button? Can't find the button. Where's the button? There's a button. It's moving. It's going that way. It's turning around. Okay. Yeah. This program doesn't do anything. All it does is it goes through and counter to do a different pulses to the motors. Well, not the motors, but the servo controllers. I to use pulses to determine how fast. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyways, just cycles through a bunch of crap to tell me what uh, what the what motors are the motors supposed to do. Uh, let's see. Okay. That'll keep doing this over and over for a long while, bumping into things. I'm gonna get some sensors, sensors to work on it, put some meaningful programming on it, and maybe I'll. Where, maybe I should show the bin that I got the garbage of it from. Okay. Let's see what's good. Yeah, it needs more weight on the front, as you can see. Wheels aren't quite gripping. But it's moving, and it's a start of a bunch of crap I found in uh, my crap bucket. Essentially a bucket. Well, not really a bucket, more of a box. In fact, yeah, I think bu a bucket's a fairly incorrect term to use. Anyways. Yeah, this is a robot. I'm going to turn it off now. I'm going to go show you the bucket that it came from. It's a big gecko. Yes, it's a big gecko. It's going over here. That's that computer, but it's gone now. Let's see. This is the bucket. As you can see, it's quite messy. If you can see anything, it's not terribly bright. Bunch of old busted up power supplies. Bunch of stuff like that. Anyways, that's all.